Hey, what's going on guys? Flickfy here and welcome back to another installment of Career Mode Player Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at Alan Halilovic, a young promising Barcelona prospect and I've been meaning to get around to reviewing this guy and I'm happy to be getting this review out for you guys right now. If you guys do go on to enjoy this episode, make sure you let me know by leaving a like down below and also dropping a comment for any players you want me to be reviewing in the final months of FIFA 15. We're uh, coming down to a close, but I definitely plan on continuing this series in FIFA 16. But with that said, let's jump into the review today. At the start of career mode, Halilovic is a 70 rated center mid, is 18 years old and showing great potential and has a real value of 1 million. But of course, when you send an inquiry over to Barcelona B, they're going to say you have to fork over 13 million in order to pick him up. This, of course, is at the start of the second season because he is a new addition to the Barcelona B squad. I would say you can pick him up for under 10 million, but of course, every career mode save is different, so your price might be a little bit different than mine. But we'll move over to the player information now. He is 5'7", has the ability to play center mid as well as right wing, left-footed, medium-low work rates, has 3-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. He does have the finesse shot and the flare trait, which is a pretty good for a 70-rated player. No specialties to start off with. If we move on now to the attributes, you guys can see they're pretty well-rounded for a 70-rated player. Some really high-rated attributes for the notable uh, characteristics. 77 acceleration, 84 agility, good ball control, good dribbling, and really nice passing. But we'll jump ahead and see what he looks like when he's 30 years old. I actually managed to achieve some good growth with Halilovic, eventually reaching an 86 overall rating at the age of 30 and a value of 26 and a half million. He did manage to pick up a few specialties along the way, the playmaker and acrobat specialties. And in the attributes department, he grew across the board for me. Very little growth in the physical department, only about plus one to plus five at the most, uh, with the exception of his reactions. Uh, so in that regards, I wouldn't recommend playing him at the right wing position, because personally, I think you need pace in about the mid 80s in order to really excel at that position and Halilovic's uh, physical attributes are pretty much in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. Uh, but in the technical department, that's another story, and that really does fit well into the center mid position. He has a lot of really good stats for the relevant stats at the center mid position. I mean, he's got 97 ball control, 95 dribbling, and then his long passing at 93, short passing at 98, long shots at 91, and curve at 96. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here in the goals and highlights that follow. All right, guys, we'll get right underway with the clips here. And in this episode, I'm actually trying something a bit different uh, with the editing style. I've included a couple more clips. Not all of them are going to be goals. Some of them are going to be near misses, but uh, it's going to allow me to go a little bit more in depth uh, for my analysis of the player. And if you guys enjoy this, let me know in the comment section below. I don't want to drag the video along too much, but I want to make sure I get my points across. But jumping right into the pros, his dribbling was his best attribute for me. He's just so smooth on the dribble, and I think that had a lot to do with the ball control at 97, the dribbling at 95, and the agility of 88, so he can really have a quick burst of pace, as you guys will see from the goals and highlights. Uh, his passing is also really good. 98 short passing and 93 long passing, especially at that center mid position, means that you can find your strikers, your wingers, wherever you want to pass the ball to, he's going to be able to get it really precisely and on target. He's also got four-star skill moves, which is a major benefit, and, uh, you know, you can achieve some of those really effective skill moves that allows you to get by players. His long shots were also really good for me. I wasn't expecting him to have very good long shots, but his shot power isn't the best. I think it's around 80 or maybe even less, uh, but he does have 91 long shots and really good curves, so I recommend trying to go with some finesse shots from outside the box, see how those work for you. couple of cons to talk about. Uh, his main one for me was his stamina. I found him running out of energy very quickly. Uh, about 60 to 70 minutes in, he was starting to get drained, and that tends to be a problem, especially on career mode, where you might have matches on consecutive days, so you definitely make sure you have a backup player for him to kind of fill that void if he is too tired. Lastly, his strength is not the best at 60, but at the center mid position, you can kind of get away with that because you're mostly going to be passing, doing one-two passes. Overall, though, I'm going to give him a 9.2 rating. If those two physical attributes were a bit better, that would be boosted up quite a bit. But he was a fun player to use, and I'll give him a value for price of 8.6 because he is relatively expensive coming from Barcelona. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this crew mode player review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here. Until the next review, this has been Flickify. We'll be talking to you all again soon.